Hi, I'm Randy and welcome to Chiang Mai, Sabadi Mai Clap. If you're retiring or maybe thinking about moving to Chiang Mai, you're probably doing the exact same thing that I did. You go on YouTube and you watch a bunch of videos. So you've been to elephant sanctuaries, you've gone to the night market and eaten the street food and seen a lot of beautiful temples. And all that is a lot of fun. But it didn't tell me what I needed to know. What I wanted to know was if I moved to Chiang Mai, would the kind of activities I like to do at home be available to me here? Or what new activities might there be that I'd like to do? And probably most importantly, I kind of worried, how is I going to meet new people? How is I going to make new friends? So that's what this video is going to be about. And I think you'll find that if you come here with an open heart and an open mind, you're going to have more activities and more friends than you ever had at home. So I hope you'll let me give you some tips on how to do that. Are you ready? The most important thing to do if you move to Thailand is actually what not to do. Don't hang around in your apartment all day, turn on the air conditioning and watch Netflix. It's easy to do. So I'm going to recommend five specific things that you can do to be out there, be active, stay healthy and meet people. And best of all, these things are cheap. There's a lot of reasons why people move to Thailand, but I think the main one is we want a high quality lifestyle but at a very low cost. And I'll admit, sometimes I want a luxurious lifestyle at a very low cost. And we're at a place where you can do exactly that. This is the Duan Tuan Hotel. It's located between the Old City and the Ping River. And there's actually nothing that unique about it. There's more than a dozen hotels here in Chiang Mai, hotels and resorts, that offer membership fees for a monthly use of their facilities without being a guest. The monthly membership fee here is 1500 baht. And it's true, you could join a gym for a little bit less, but then you'd only have exercise equipment. Here, it's like hanging out in a very nice resort. There's the L-shaped pool that's always beautifully maintained. There's a nice view from the deck. There's a very extensive gym with four separate quadrants with free weights, exercise equipment, and cardio. There's a sauna and a steam bath. So you can come here in the morning, work out for an hour or two in the gym, take a steam or a sauna, come in the pool and cool down for a while, find a chaise lounge in the shade, open up your laptop or a book. You can literally spend four or five hours here in a beautiful resort environment, and it costs you a little more than a dollar a day. And it's a great way to meet people. There's local ties as well as uh, expats that also have the monthly membership. And let's don't forget all those lady guests that are staying at the hotel that are looking for a nice local man to show them a good time. A group you are definitely gonna to wanna to check out is the Chiang Mai Expats Club. It's filled with people just like you that have come from Chiang Mai from all around the world. The lifetime membership fee is only a thousand baht and they've got clubs for about every imaginable interest from poetry reading to photography to computers to different kinds of sports. So my girlfriend and I decided to check out one of the groups and we went lawn bowling, which we have never done before. And we had a really good time and met a nice group of people. And you might also want to check out these two Facebook groups. My favorite place for sports activities is the Gymkhana Club. They literally have about a dozen different sport activities there and it's a really social environment and it's incredibly cheap. It's located about two miles east from the old city, just across the Ping River. Let's meet Paul Drew, their director, and have a look around. So we're here at the Gymkhana Club in Chiang Mai with Paul Drew, who is the chairman. Paul, you're outclassing me here with the blue blazer and everything. You're making me look bad. Well, I'm just wearing it because I've got the badge on here. <laughs> so, Paul, I know that uh, the club has a, a, an interesting history. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Um, 
we're, we're, we are in fact the oldest um, sports club in Thailand. The, it was uh, started in 1898. It was formed by mainly British people. I love your club because you've got about everything here. So um, give me a quick rundown on all the different sports and activities that you offer here. Right. Well, well thank you for saying that. It, it is a, a, a wonderful place. Uh, we have a nine-hole golf course. We have tennis courts. And excuse me, the golf course is 36 par, correct? It's, yeah, 30, 30, 36, 36. Is the So if people play it twice, it's a 72 par course. Absolutely okay. right, yeah. So we have the golf, we have uh, tennis, we have squash, we have table tennis, so we have um, wheel on tables that can go onto the squash course. Mm -hmm. uh, we have petang, we have a snooker table, which is about 100 years old. Yeah. Uh, we have um, disc golf. Um, and all sorts of things. Now, um, let me mention your tennis courts are lighted, correct, mm -hmm. for people who want to yeah. play at night, and your squash courts have air conditioning. Uh, they have fans. So tell me a little bit more about the, the golf. You've got a, a special activity Monday, Wednesday, Friday, correct, at 8, where like new people can kind of come yeah, and join yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, we, we started this a couple of years ago because we, we have a lot of people who come here uh, on vacation mm -hmm. or for six months and what have you. So if you roll up here at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, you're sure to get a game. Um, we pair people off. This morning we had 25 people playing. Now, um, what about um, your frisbee golf? Mm -hmm. So you close the course, what, one day a week or one afternoon? How does just that on, work? Just on one afternoon. They play uh, from 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's proved, proved to be very successful. We have cricket, which is played every Sunday, and believe it or not, we have the um, we we host the largest international cricket tournament in the world hmm. every April, where we get thirty odd teams from all over the world coming here. Now, one of the nicest things about your club, besides all the things it offers, is it's really affordable. Um, so, can you give us just a, for example, if I want to play nine holes, mm -hmm. um, how much is that going to cost me? That's going to cost you 300 baht. <laughs> and, um, and what about your membership? So you can do all the activities here without a membership. Anybody can come. But if you are a member, you can do everything basically for free, right? You can come and play golf every day at no cost, for example. That's right. So I know you've got memberships for one year and 10 years and all these things. Maybe just talk about the two-year membership. Okay. Um, and just break it down as simple as you can. So what would be the total cost of a two-year membership that someone would play to have unlimited golf, unlimited tennis, all the things we've talked about. So what would that, how many okay, baht okay. would that be? Uh, the, the joining fee is 5,000 baht and then you can either pay uh, monthly, which is 1,200 baht per month, mm -hmm. uh, or you can pay annually, which is 13,000 per year. Okay, so you would pay 13,000 baht for one year and then 13,000 for the second? That's right. Okay, great. All right. I really appreciate your time with me no, today. Thank, thank you and for coming Thank you along. very much. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again here soon. Okay. Thank you thank very you, much. Paul. Thank you. Before we go, I thought we'd stop at the driving range. Let's see if I'm a better golfer here in Thailand than I am in the United States. Did you see that? Was that Tiger Woods? No, that was me. Hello. When you move here, one of the biggest decisions you're gonna make is where to live. And of course you wanna be safe and you wanna be comfortable. But I'm gonna give you something else to think about. One of the best new ways to meet people is basically where you live. So if you get a small place with no other units around you, you don't really give yourself that opportunity. There's a lot of really large condominium complexes here that are 25 stories high, and they rent these places out individually like apartments. And it's a great way to meet people, going up and down on the elevator, hanging around by the pool. These are both expats and local ties, so a great way to meet new people. We're on our way to check out a couple places right now. This is the Floral Condominium, one of two large condominium complexes that I'll be showing you. 
It's located just east of the Ping River, about less than a mile from the old city. And when this was built about 30 years ago, it was considered one of the nicest places to live in Chiang Mai. And now it's still a very nice building, but there's been dozens and dozens of newer condominium complexes that are more popular. You can see there's a beautiful view from the balcony to the north. And one advantage to renting a, an older building like this is you're gonna get quite a bit more square footage. If you rent one of the newer buildings, there's gonna be newer facilities and everything's going to be updated, but you're also gonna get quite a bit less space. You can see this unit comes with a full-size kitchen, although you'll see there's no stove because in Thailand, they typically just cook on range tops and basically never use ovens. Another thing I like about the older buildings is they typically come with hardwood floors. This is a two bedroom, one bath unit, and the monthly rent is 20,000 baht, which is about $577 a month. The grounds include a tennis court, a very small but basic gym. And a nice swimming pool. And located right here on the Ping River is the Rim Ping Condominiums. Uh, this is a very popular place with expats. And here I'm going to show you a smaller unit, a studio. And the rent is only 10,000 baht per month, which is roughly $288. By the way, there's nothing unique about these two complexes that I'm showing you. These are just examples of typical large housing complexes you can choose in Chiang Mai. You can see the Rimping has a very nice lobby. There's also a laundry service available there. And the small studio comes fully furnished. For a studio, it's fairly large. There's a comfortable bed, a lot of bookshelves and a desk, as well as a seating area and you get a nice view of the Ping River with a small balcony. The facilities are pretty nice. The gym is quite extensive and has about all the equipment that you could ask for. And there's a nice covered swimming pool. And as kind of a bonus, there's this very nice restaurant right behind the Rim Ping on the banks of the river. If you choose to live in one of the newer complexes to have nicer facilities, the rent's gonna be about 30 to 40% higher. But you can also find places that are quite a bit cheaper than the ones I'm showing you if you're happy with much more basic housing. I've got this song town all to myself. And we're on our way to pickleball. <laughs> I'm a big pickleball player, I love it. And in Chiang Mai, we've got a great pickleball group. They're really friendly, very social, great way to meet new people and plan other activities. Let's go over to the courts right now. Grant, how long have you guys been here in Chiang Mai? We've been here, Randy, five years all up, uh, four years in Chiang Mai, one year in Phuket, now we're back for another year. So, uh, tell me, or, or you, uh, you can chime in, Barbara. <laughs> tell me, why do you guys like Chiang Mai? Why did you choose it, and why do you stay? 
Uh, we love Chiang Mai because of the laid-back lifestyle. It's uh, great. Uh, the, the economy for us, is, for Aussies, is, is, much, is much better. We get better value for money. We, we just love the lifestyle here. It's fantastic. Yeah. And of course, uh, it is the land of smiles. The Thais are such a beautiful people. Uh, always smiling, always happy, always friendly. And yeah, we, we love it. We're here to stay. I think they all, they all are crazy like us, you know, <laughs> and we all love pickleball. Um, we welcome uh, all the foreigners come to our, our forest yeah. and yeah. welcome to uh, pickleball club. And yeah. we, are, we are waiting for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. The days of play are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, starting at 8 o'clock until <laughs> whenever it gets too hot to play, which is usually about 12 or 1 o'clock. I really enjoyed making this video for you, so I hope you found it helpful. Come on up. So whether you're planning on living here full time or dividing your time like I do between Thailand and your home country, I hope you come to love it as much as I do. And I hope you'll also subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of new information coming out, not just about Thailand, but specifically about Chiang Mai. And if you've got any comments to leave that might be helpful for other people coming here, I hope you'll take a minute to leave them in the comments. So until I see you again, safe travels.